good morning uh, welcome back to the channel I think this is gonna be the last video of, uh, of 2020 and it's been a uh, it's been uh, an interesting year uh, so I've decided to come to a place I've been here before but long time ago it's a lake and I've just noticed there are uh, there are a few birds around there are a few cormorants uh, Egyptian geese and I've literally just heard a, a kingfisher and the red kite is flying about Now, I've always assumed there are kingfisher around here. I've just heard one, so it would actually be nice to, to see one. The weather and the light is changing very, very fast. But um, let's see what we can do. There's a very nice scenery in front of me. So yeah, uh, let's hope we have a good day. Let's go. just spotted the the kingfisher flying uh, across the lake so there's a good chance that we might actually get a photo of it so yeah uh, let's see what we can get in terms of photos I'll take some videos and um, I'll share my uh, my thoughts with you after about three months of owning the uh, the Olympus there is a pair of Egyptian geese in a tree up here I'll try to get some photos and some videos of it And the kingfisher uh, landing close to me. Do you want? Oh, can you hear it? The issue was I was on uh, C1, so that's two thousand of a second, and it just landed in the in the shade here. So it's a very high ISO photo. Uh, but I literally had a split of a second to take to take a shot so I'll wait here and uh, hopefully he will be back I, I haven't actually noticed if it's a male or a female uh, but I hope the kingfisher will be back
All right, so I've checked the photos. It is a male and I've managed to get a few uh, sequences with Pro Capture High. So that's 60 photos per second. Uh, although it was pretty much in the same pose. Uh, the ISO used was 6400. Um, but I'll, uh, I'll try and see how I can clean the photos on, or how they look on a, on a bigger screen. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm chuffed to be honest. I uh, never came here to, and expected to get a kingfisher so close. I've never seen a kingfisher here. So yeah, looks like we do have a good day. The kingfisher is still in the bushes down there. Oh, well, I can actually see it. But uh, it's not coming out and the weather seems to uh, seems to go towards rainy like this morning. It was uh, very rainy this morning. So yeah, uh, I'll go around, take a few more photos and videos and then I'll probably go into the car. So I don't want to get soaked and yeah, we'll, we'll talk in the car. As expected, it literally started to rain. Uh, went quickly to my car, and uh, yeah, I, I don't want to get soaked. And I think that should do for today. Although the the rain that has come in, the literally low clouds, they go very quickly because I can see the blue sky uh, breaking through the clouds. So. I might actually stick around. So what are my thoughts after using Olympus for, I think it's about three months now. Um, I am actually impressed and everything I've heard about it, I've actually felt it myself now. Uh, so the Pro Capture function, the, the snappy autofocus, the incredible st uh, stabilization system, uh, weather sealing. Uh, I I can't say I I have anything to fault. There are a few compromising moving from a bigger sensor to a smaller one. So cropping is one. Uh, it's a very limited uh, luxury to call it like that. It's a very limited situation where you actually can't crop. Now also depends on what you do with your photos. If you plan to print. Uh, on a bigger scale uh, you might not want to crop the photo uh, I've printed a few of my photos uh, on a 6x4 cropped great quality very sharp nice colors uh, another downside is it is a mirrorless camera and the battery doesn't last as long as a, a DSLR would so extra batteries or a, a grip, it is beneficial. Uh, especially if you use your camera in Pro Capture or video a lot, that tends to take the, the, the battery life and uh, sucks the battery uh, quicker. I, uh, I've only encountered this problem once when I went to the short ear owls because I've actually waited for the owl to take off and continuously focusing and looking through the through the camera to see the owl because it was very far away. I, I've noticed the battery went pretty quickly. Another downside, uh, let's call it like that, it's the dynamic range. It's not actually a downside, it's uh, an APS-C sensor or a full frame sensor. They have bigger pixels 
though, and and that will obviously result in a in a better dynamic range. A micro four thirds uh, is not as good in a in the dynamic range. That doesn't mean you can't actually recover highlights or um, or shadows. It's very good. I got extremely good results also in photos and videos. Recovering shadows in videos is actually very nice. I, I love it. And I think it's not a deal breaker, it's not an impediment. Uh, being a mirrorless and obviously having control over the, the settings and scene in the viewfinder or a live view, how the, the photo, how the video will look straight away. Uh, I, I think the dynamic range it's not a deal breaker on a DSLR for example you have to do the settings rely on histogram rely on the exposure uh, meter and after that see what you can recover in post-production with, with with this with mirrorless with this Olympus I make the settings on the go and try to get the photos straight from the camera as close as I want to so I have minimum uh, post-processing, probably a bit of crop and a bit of, uh, you know, recover of the shadows to get a bit more detail. So overall, I don't actually feel uh, downgrading from my Canon 5D Mark IV to the Olympus system. It's a big jump, it's a full frame to a micro four thirds, so it's a big sensor to a small sensor, but Technology, it's technology. Sensor, uh, the sensor does what it does, but you also have so many things after the sensor that processes that image. Uh, and the most important thing is you, how you compose, how do you do your settings. So, yeah, I, um, I love it. I really enjoy it. It rediscovered photography for me and especially made me look more into videography, filming. I've, I've, I've wanted to do that. I remember I purchased a small camcorder but it was a 720p. It was a, a dreadful quality and with this one the fact that I can actually photograph the wildlife and also video the wildlife it's amazing. I, I really enjoy it, and a, a, a photo is a photo. It's very nice, but when you can actually uh, take a, a video of of a kingfisher, like I was lucky to do today, it's absolutely amazing, and it shows so much more than just a photo. It shows behavior. It shows environment, and uh, I absolutely love it. Um, and I'm, I'm proud of this this Olympus so yeah these are these are my thoughts just want to uh, I want to say happy birthday to a very special friend of mine and you know who you are and uh, also I want to wish you a, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year better in any way than than this year well I hope you enjoyed this video as well and it turned out to uh, to be a great day out actually and uh, get a really close encounter with a kingfisher I uh, never expected that if this is your first time on the channel my name is Sam I do wildlife photography I go out and about and um, I take you with me so please subscribe to the channel and uh, and the Kingfisher's back yeah and I'll see you in two weeks see ya